Hello and welcome back to MissionTeep.com. This is somewhat of a part two, I guess. Um, I'm not really going to label it as a part two, but it's kind of a part two. So we left off building police. We, we, we were kind of messing with the Seattle, city of Seattle police departments. Uh, next up, we do have the suburbs of Seattle. We do have Tukwila, Kent, um, and then we do have some other departments that we're going to be building today. So this one's just going to be focused on police. Just so if you're not interested in police, which I'm really not even interested in police, but unfortunately i got to build them. Um, Let's uh, let's get started. So first off, uh, we do have our Tukwila Police Department built. We do have our Kent Police Station built. So what we're gonna do, just because these are gray and it makes them look like I didn't build them, I'm just gonna build and label the units here. So we're just gonna get that out of the way. Okay, so the Tukwila Police Department. This one has definitely some units at it. Um, we're just gonna come in here and rename the units. Uh, this is gonna just be TW8742. TWA Tukwila and unit 742. And we're just going to come over here to 742 and mark this as green. Now, the Tukwila Police Department is getting a ton of personnel hired here. So once all the personnel is hired, I think I'll just go in and uh, make all the units. Um, but before we do that, we do need to expand the station and make this a large station because we do have over six units. So we're going to do that. Actually, do you know what we might just do here? We're just going to we're just gonna expand this to the max real quick here. Vehicle marker, we're gonna go to, and we're just gonna buy a bunch of police cars here just to make it look like we're doing something today. Okay, we have TWA. Let's just copy that in the search bar real quick here. TWA, copy. Oh, that's not what I want. Go to edit. We have 1764, 1764. And we're just gonna name, like I said, all of these units here up to six. Shit, I accidentally, TWA. I had it saved in my copy bar, my clipboard, but I didn't. This is gonna be 1751, 1751. Go to edit up here, paste, 1754. And we have two left here. We have 1766 and 91706. 91706. All right, these ones are all hired up with personnel. Um, so we're going to mark these ones as green, and they are good to go. Up next, we're going to go to the city of Kent, and we're just going to build six um, units there as well. So Kent is just south of uh, um, Tacoma, or not Tacoma, um, Tukwila. Um, so what we're gonna do is get the large expansion for the PD. We do have 19 personnel just like the Tukwila. We're gonna expand this up to six bays for 300. That was really cheap. Uh, we're gonna go to vehicle market. We're gonna go buy five patrol cars here. And then we're gonna label all these units. So this code is KNT for Kent. And our code is Control C, Kent, okay, Kent, and then we have unit number three nine one eight. Yep. And we're gonna do this five more times here. Three eight three seven. Three eight three seven. And this next one is three nine one nine. And then 3827 is our next one. 3827. And we have 3871. And our last one is 3883. Alrighty, all these ones are built and are labeled correctly. So we're gonna mark these ones as green and they are good to go. Okay, now we're gonna head to the Des Moines just real quick and we're just gonna do a few ones. And on the last, last episode, we got a canine training here. Um, it's still a work in progress as far as that training, training go, tra sorry, canine training goes, um, but um, that'll take a little bit of time. So let's just label these real quickly here. 
we have two canine units and then four patrol cars. So we're gonna come in here, get two canine units and then four patrol cars. Here we go. All right, so these patrol cars are gonna be called DMN for Des Moines. So Des Moines, 6194. Let me just copy this real quick, Des Moines. This is gonna be 6710. And for our cannon unit, we have 6323. And we're gonna mark this one as unavailable as we are getting our canine unit situated. This next one is our canine unit as well. This is going to be 6411. All right, so we're going to mark these both as yellow for now, and then we'll go back to our patrol cars here. So we do have three last patrol cars that we need to label, and actually two more. 6194 and 6710. We have this, I'm oh, sorry, these ones need to be green, my bad. We have two patrol cars left. Let's go to, oh, not, not statistics. Let's go to yeah, patrol car, edit. 6263 and then 6462 is our last one. 6462. All right, these ones are good to go. Now, in five days, the canine training will be done and I will switch these from yellow to green and then this Des Moines station should be done. I don't think there's any more police cars here that I, um, I know of. It's a pretty small department if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, so those ones are built. The next ones we're gonna do is actually just build actual stations. Uh, we need to build the Port of Seattle, or sorry, I actually don't know where the Port of Seattle Police Department is. It's kind of unheard of, I, I, I can't find it. I, I have no clue where it actually is. I, I assumed it was at the airport, but it's not at the airport. It, it probably is. I just I, c I can't find it. I, I straight up there was no information on it. I, there was no addresses in their their website or anything, and I I don't know where to look. So I um, kind of gave up just a little bit. But I'll find it eventually. Eventually. Okay. Let's head over to our SeaTac Police Department. This is. This is the department that is actually run, and I just want to show you guys this. Um, the wording here, if it even lets me. So I, I was looking on their official website for their police department, and they don't actually have their own police department, but they contract with the county uh, sheriff's office. So the city of SeaTac contracts with the county sheriff's office, KCSO, for police services, among other benefits. Contracting for the services uh, for the larger law enforcement agency allows for cost savings through economics of scale. Specific economics of scale provided through the contract of KCSO, King County Sheriff's Office. Okay, so yeah, just because they don't really want to buy their own department, it's cheaper in the long run just to um, contract out for different departments. It actually happens all over the place, which is, it does make sense in a lot of areas. That's why you do see these um, these conglomerated fire departments. It's, it's a heck of a lot cheaper than having a city to have their own departments. It, it just makes sense. I'm, I'm actually not sure why more cities don't do like a, like a statewide fire department. Um, and I get that areas differ depending on region and um, climates and different things like that. So it doesn't always work for every department. Uh, but... Do what I should have done. I'm actually gonna go backwards here. I'm gonna control this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little note here, just because I kind of like this. I'm gonna insert note, and we're gonna go to V. And we're gonna delete this, and we're gonna break apart this cell here. Now, as far as the SeaTac Police Department goes, I'm gonna build it, but I don't actually know what police units go here because. On the police cards, there is absolutely zero markings that distinguish what unit numbers they have or anything like that. There's there's zero, none on the roof, none on the side of the vehicle, none on the bumper, none, none anywhere. And, and I don't know why, unless I missed it. But I there's none at SeaTac and there's none at the, none at the Covington. The Covington has the same thing. The Covington Police Department is also run by the Sheriff's Department. 
so it's it's quite annoying um, but yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna build the SeaTac Police Department and I will eventually furnish it a little later if that makes sense okay let's get started let's go to the SeaTac Police Department C Now this is it right here. We can see some of the police cruisers probably in the parking lot here. We can see one here, one here. We can see the light bars. And then we actually have access to their um, parking lot as well for the most part. Um, but their unit number, there, there's no information on, as you guys can see, there's no, there's nothing on the roof here for unit numbers. There's nothing on the, the bumper. Sometimes there's unit, there's unit numbers on the bumper here. Um, there's nothing on the side. There's nothing on the back. There's nothing on the hood, the bumper. I, either bumper and I, I don't know where they are I don't know I don't know how to label them and I don't know how to go about this to be honest so what I'm gonna do is actually just build the PD here and I will come up with some sort of solution later on so if you guys have any ideas what I should label them um, be my guest also I'd like to point out while just on satellite view I see this unit and I think this is definitely a sheriff's unit vehicle um, I don't know what this exactly is. But anyways, we're going to be building this uh, building here. This is the city hall, which also acts as the PD. All right, let's get this built and um, continue on with our day. All righty, Seattle City Hall. Let's go to build a new building. We're going to go to police station small for now. If we need to upgrade it later, we will. We will drop the pin right here. This is going to be STC, STC, C, TAC, Police, D. And build for 545,000 credits. And what I'm going to do is actually just make this unavailable I'm just gonna turn this off for now and then the next one I'm gonna do is actually just go to so the SeaTac is built um, next one we're gonna build is the Covington Police Department Federal Way is also built I just haven't found information on that yet um, Covington alrighty Covington Police Department C-O-V-I-N-T-O-N what is Covington Whatever, I found it. Oh, that's Covington, Georgia. Covington, Washington, Police Department. Hello? Why are you... I said Washington, hello? Covington... Okay, why is this not... Oh my, I'm about to lose it. I'm about to absolutely lose it here. Covington Police Department. There we go. My goodness. Covington, city of Covington. Now the patrol cars are, I believe in the back of this department or they're somewhere in here. I think they're back here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we can see our sheriff's unit here. There is no unit, actually, here's a unit number, E00600. Wow, look at this, okay. So we're gonna make, actually, I don't know which, this is a orthopedic office. And this is, I'm assuming this is the police department or substation or whatever they want to label it as. Um, yeah, let's just come in here and grab this address. I would assume this is the building. 
But it's really weird that they also have a outpatient physical therapy place here, but this is also the city hall. So um, kind of interesting, kind of interesting indeed. So let's come in here and grab this address and then we'll build the PD here. Now this is gonna be a small station. I don't, I think I might only build the, the one unit here, that one sheriff unit, because I don't know what else to put there. Um, okay, let's, okay, we have the address copied. Let's go into zoom in. Now let's go to paste and hit enter. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where it just put us here. But I know for a fact the city hall is right here because I, I remember it was on a corner, a really, really weird corner. Okay, let's go to build new building. Let's go to police station small and let's just drop the pin right here. This is gonna be COV for Covington. And now this department, as you guys just saw, there was a sheriff unit in the parking lot. Covington also works with the county to have their own police department. Um, Covington Police Department. Okay, and we're gonna build this for 550,000 credits. Okay, so this place does spawn us with a vehicle um, but I, I do want to make this a sheriff vehicle at some point because it is technically a sheriff actual vehicle um, that we just saw in the parking lot. And because it's owned and operated by the sheriff's department, I think it's only fair that the sheriff's department itself actually, um, you know, it's, let me just show you real quick. So you can get a random patrol car or you can get a police supervisor slash sheriff unit. And I want to get a sheriff unit because sheriff units are more versatile and they're just a little more effective at uh, what they do okay anyways moving on um, this is gonna what unit number was this was e 00600 okay let's just type this in here e 00600 let's go to lotto let's go to this and just go to center Bold, and I need to get rid of, let's go to format, let's go to text, let's go to underline, take that off. Okay, E00600 is gonna be our sheriff's unit, uh, and we'll deal with that a little bit later. Okay, moving on. So, we do have Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, we're just gonna mark this as red for now. I'm gonna mark this for, as red for now as well. But it's built, the station's built, we just need to find information. Okay, moving on, we're gonna build our last one here. Um, and we might build one more, actually after this, now that I think of it. Uh, we're gonna build the University of Washington Police Department. Um, this is campus police, technically. I was really debating whether or not I should actually build campus police or not because they're technically police, but they're technically like not police. Um, but I didn't really know what to do. Um, but we can see the police cars right here. We do have a, a patrol car here. We have a patrol car here. And then there's multiple under this roof right here. And then now that I just look at it, I don't know what this unit is right here. I have no idea what this is, but I really want to figure out what that unit is. So the University of Washington Police Department. We're gonna build this real quick. And the only unit number I know of currently is 1402. Um, but I will have to do a little more research on that a little bit later down the road. Okay. Let's grab this address here and let's throw it in our search bar and find this place. All right, now I don't know exactly where this is. So let's take a look. What street is this on? This is on University Way Northeast and 15th Avenue. University and 15th Avenue. So, oh, it's right here, duh, okay. So we're gonna go to build new building. We're gonna go to police station small. And since there's already an icon right here, we're actually gonna put it right here. 
obviously this is the police department, so um, duh. Okay, this is gonna be UWA for University of Washington. Now, I don't know if I can even get this in here with enough text. I can't. We're just going to type this as UW Police Department. Department. University of Washington Police Department. And we're just going to build this for 554,000 credits. Quite a bit. Now, this one is going to have for sure two units. I know there's going to be a second unit here. Um, so, what we're going to do is go to. We're going to go to expand. Now, this is going to be a little bit. I'm going to do some shifting here. We're going to go to Sheriff Unit, and then we're going to go to Edit. We're going to go to Swap. Um, police Unit, let's go to Move. Here we go. We need to swap the... We're looking for the Covington. Where is Covington? COV, okay, all the way up here. Duh, I just go alphabetical order. Covington, we're going to go to swap vehicles here with the patrol car. And we're going to swap. So I just sent this unit from the. So the University of Washington is going to have two patrol cars. And this Covington place is actually going to have the. Um, Is Georgetown? Where's my comment? Where's Covington? It is lagging heavily here. Covington, Covington, Covington. That's Kent, Auburn, Covington. Here we go. So we do have our police sheriff unit here. We're going to rename this to our the unit we just made, which is going to be KNG for King. And then back at actually, it's going to be COV, I guess, for just anything. But COV Covington. This is going to be E00600. Now we're going to mark this as yellow because technically now this vehicle needs sheriff training. So we're going to leave it at that for now. Now we're going to head back to the University of Washington. I'm not exactly sure where that is. Yep, here we go. University of Washington. We're going to rename this patrol car. to UWA and then it was 1402 1402 and then we're going to mark this one as green built okay back to the PD we're going to get two more people hired up here and that's pretty much it for now uh, we're going to mark this uh, clear that off our board and yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, we're gonna mark. We're just gonna shove these down here just for a little bit, and put that in there. Okay, that's pretty much it for a lot of our units here. Um, before we get done with this episode, we're gonna go back to the Auburn Police Department. We're gonna build the SWAT unit, which I think I think we actually might have built the SWAT unit already, um, but we're gonna get some units in there as well. So we're gonna head down to the Auburn. Now the Auburn station's kind of nice because it's kind of like a jack of all trades type building. It's got SWAT, it's got riot control, it's got all sorts of just weird stuff. It's got animal control. So cool stuff down there. Okay, so the Auburn Police Department. Um, we have multiple patrol cars. We have a SWAT unit and we have a Valley Civil Disturbance Unit. And my computer is somewhat crashed here for a little bit. There we go, it is back. I don't know if you guys even just saw that on camera. That was really weird. Okay, so we do have it already expanded up to six, which is the max for now until we get um, it expanded to a large station, which is going to take 24 hours to convert. Let's go to vehicle market. We're going to go to, where's a SWAT? SWAT, here we go, SWAT. We're going to get a SWAT armored vehicle. 
and then we're gonna go to riot police and we're gonna get a riot police van and then we're gonna get just random patrol cars here Man, this too. What the? I just glitched this thing out. What the heck? Uh. It says I can build seven hundred nine vehicles, but it doesn't let me actually build another van, which is really weird. Like, it won't let me. It won't. I don't know what's going on with that. That's. This is a small police department. It shouldn't allow me to have nine vehicles here, which is really, really weird. Anyways, uh, we're, uh, we're going to just name these vehicles real quick here. Okay, let's do Auburn. Let's go to edit. Let's go to this. So this is going to be Auburn, AUB 92A. AUB, unit number 34H. AUB, this unit 10B, and then we have 14D as well for the next patrol car, which is our last. AUB, 14D, 14D, there we go. These ones are good to go. Mark those as green. And then next we have our Valley Civil Disturbance Unit. So I think what we'll do is actually just name this as this. Valley Civil Disturbance Unit. Let's go to edit and let's get a graphics pack for this real quick. And we're gonna get this van, which looks like our Seattle one, but it's uh, pretty much what we're looking for here. And we have our SWAT armored vehicle. Uh, which is gonna be labeled as rescue one. And there we go. Let's go to assign personnel. We do have our people in a SWAT training course right now. So um, these people will get done relatively soon. We're gonna mark these both as yellow. And then we'll come back and rebuild these uh, patrol cars. And then we don't, there's no animal control in the game yet. Uh, but when they do add animal control, we'll uh, make a unit there for that. Okay, so Covington was built. Um, and then that we're going to leave it to one last um, police station that we need to build in our King area. Um, that is the Muckleshoot Police Department. This is an Indian, it's on an Indian reservation, but the Indian reservation contracts with the county again to um, for their police services. So we can see their sheriff units here. We can see a sheriff unit here and here. Um, and then we see the Muckle, uh, Muckle Shoot Police Department here. So we're gonna build this department real quick here. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I, I, I'll probably deal with the, the vehicle side of it later because I don't really know what vehicles go here other than the ones we just saw in the parking lot. Okay, let's go to the Muckleshoot Police Department here, and let's see if we can type this address in and they can find it. Let's see. Oh, I guess I already built the Muckleshoot Police Department. Okay. Well, that works out quite well then. Okay. Nice, I, I didn't even realize I built this. So, um, yeah, I think, I don't really have anything else to do there. Uh, let's just mark this as red. We'll find the data on that a little bit later. 
um, as far as the unit numbers that go there and the sheriff units and stuff like that. So I think that pretty much wraps up our video of um, kind of mopping up our police departments here. Uh, we will come back um, probably in another episode and try to finish up.